everybody starts at the same time pretty much so yeah. it gets chaotic here i usually try and start sometimes an hour early as soon as i get my schedule or even sometimes before i'll do a pre-trip inspection always check the oil check the tires check the brakes and walk do the walk around check all the lights make sure all the lights are working the beacon lights, the hazard lights, the signal lights, brake lights, make sure everything's working. Depending on the address, I know there's some areas in the in city that are very tight. As soon as I get my work order, I'll look it up on the map first, Google Maps or whatever, and even do a satellite view if I need to, to see if I'm gonna be able to park. And if sometimes I gotta be parked a block or two away. Rolling these straps up gets a little tiring if we've got 24 pallets that we can fit on the truck or 28 bags. Get a little sore on the wrist. Just being parked in the middle of the road with a big truck. Something happens in an ambulance or whatever, you gotta get out of the way. So I'll just take the two off that side and then I'll move and get the other side. streets are really tight then I, I do have to do one side of the truck then the other side and if it's a full truck I might have to move it a few times because we have to try and tra keep the trailer fairly level we can't have a whole bunch of weight on one side not on the other a lot of times the truck is full we'll have two or three different deliveries on or one manufacturer or two manufacturers products on the truck be aware of road bands if we're overweight. If we're overweight and there's only a 75% road band or a 50% road band, we'll have to do multiple trips. When you drive a big truck, you get to learn patience because you can't speed things up. You can't take shortcuts. Sometimes we have to use this road, this entrance, if we're loaded because of the road band. There's no road band on this road, but there is on the other, okay. on, on the front. 